Putin declares Alaska sale illegal. Russia's special agency six former Soviet land assets. Introduction. Hello and welcome to Capture the Intelligence. Today we are delving into a provocative move by Russian President Vladimir Putin that has sent shockwaves through the international community. Putin's recent declaration that the I-867 sale of Alaska to the United States was illegal has sparked fears of a resurgent Russian imperialism, reminiscent of the Soviet Union's aggressive expansionism during the Cold War. Join us as we dissect the implications of Putin's actions, explore the historical context, and analyze the geopolitical ramifications of this bold claim. On January 22, 2023, President Putin signed a decree establishing the Federal State Unitary Enterprise for the Management of Overseas Property, a department tasked with identifying and reclaiming former Russian Empire, Soviet Union, and Russian Federation properties worldwide. This move is seen as a strategic play by Putin to reassert Russian influence and expand its territorial reach. To fully grasp the implications of Putin's decree, it is essential to delve into the historical context and the underlying motivations behind this provocative action. The decree specifically mentions Alaska, which was sold to the United States by the Russian Empire in 1867 for a mere 7.2 million million. Putin's declaration that this sale was illegitimate raises concerns about Russia's intentions towards the United States and its allies. Experts believe that this is not merely symbolic but a calculated attempt to undermine American sovereignty and sow discord among its partners. Putin's decision to challenge the legitimacy of this historical transaction is rooted in a complex web of factors, including a desire to reassert Russian influence on the global stage, exploit geopolitical tensions, and bolster domestic support. By casting doubt on the legality of the Alaska seal, Putin seeks to undermine the United States' claim to the territory and sow discord among its allies. This move is part of a broader strategy to challenge the existing world order and promote a multipolar world in which Russia plays a dominant role. Putin's actions have historical roots in the Russian Empire's expansionist policies. Throughout history, Russia has pursued an aggressive campaign of territorial acquisition, driven by a desire for geostrategic control and economic dominance. The Soviet Union inherited this expansionist mindset, annexing territories and establishing satellite states in Eastern Europe and beyond. The collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 marked a significant setback for Russian imperialism, but it did not extinguish the country's ambitions. Under Putin's leadership, Russia has embarked on a path of revanchism, seeking to restore its former glory and influence. The annexation of Crimea in 2014 and the ongoing conflict in eastern Ukraine are clear examples of this renewed assertiveness. Putin's declaration regarding Alaska should be seen as part of this broader strategy. By questioning the legitimacy of the seal, he is attempting to create a historical narrative that justifies future territorial claims. It is a calculated move to unsettle the international order and challenge the United States' dominance. The implications of Putin's actions are far-reaching. Putin's decree has far-reaching implications beyond the specific case of Alaska. Additionally, it sets a dangerous precedent, potentially emboldening other nations to question 
and challenge the validity of historical agreements and borders, further destabilizing the global landscape. This could lead to a cascade of territorial disputes, destabilizing regions and threatening global peace and security. Analysis Putin's declaration is not merely a symbolic gesture. It is a carefully orchestrated move with strategic implications. By invoking historical grievances and challenging the legitimacy of past agreements, Putin seeks to undermine the stability of the international order and assert Russian dominance. The timing of Putin's announcement is significant, coinciding with heightened tensions between Russia and the West over the ongoing conflict in Ukraine and the looming U.S. presidential election in 2024. This suggests that Putin is attempting to exploit divisions within the Western alliance and so discord among its members. The establishment of the federal state unitary enterprise for the management of overseas property is a tangible manifestation of Putin's territorial ambitions. This department will serve as a vehicle for identifying and claiming former Russian properties potentially leading to legal challenges and diplomatic disputes. Moreover, Putin's actions have ignited fears of a resurgent Russian imperialism, reminiscent of the Soviet Union's aggressive expansionism during the Cold War era. The Kremlin's renewed territorial ambitions pose a significant challenge to the United States and its allies, requiring a careful and strategic response to prevent further escalation and conflict. In light of these developments, it is imperative for the international community to remain vigilant and united in upholding the principles of sovereignty, territorial integrity, and the sanctity of international agreements. Diplomacy and dialogue must take precedence over cyber-rattling and aggressive posturing to avoid a dangerous spiral of confrontation. At the same time, it is crucial to address the underlying grievances and security concerns that may be fueling Putin's assertive behavior. As the world grapples with the fallout from Putin's decree, it is evident that we are Entering a new era of geopolitical uncertainty and heightened tensions. Additional analysis. Putin's declaration regarding Alaska cannot be fully understood without considering the context of his alliance with China. The two countries have formed a strategic partnership driven by shared geopolitical interests and a desire to challenge the United States' global dominance. China's economic and military might have been a crucial factor in emboldening Putin's aggressive stance. In recent years, the CCP has provided substantial financial and diplomatic support to Russia, helping to prop up its economy and bolster its military capabilities. The China-Russia alliance has created a formidable bloc that poses a significant challenge to the existing international order, their combined economic and military power, coupled with their shared revisionist ambitions, has the potential to reshape the global landscape. CCP's role in Russia's imperial ambitions CCP's support for Russia goes beyond mere economic and diplomatic assistance. Beijing has also played a direct role in fueling Putin's imperial ambitions. CCP's massive infrastructure projects, such as the Belt and Road Initiative, have provided Russia with much-needed capital and investment. These projects have also created dependencies that tie Russia closer to China, increasing Beijing's influence over Moscow. Additionally, the CCP has been a willing market for Russian energy exports, providing a vital source of revenue for the Kremlin. 
This economic interdependence has given Russia a sense of security and enabled it to pursue its expansionist agenda more assertively. The China-Russia alliance is a key factor underpinning Putin's declaration regarding Alaska and his broader imperial ambitions. By aligning with the CCP, Russia has gained a powerful ally that shares its vision of a multipolar world order. The international community must recognize the threat posed by this alliance and take concerted action to counter its revisionist agenda. Diplomacy, economic pressure, and a strong commitment to international law are essential tools in this endeavor. Only through collective action can we prevent Putin and his allies from undermining the stability of the international order and creating a world where might makes right. Conclusion Putin's declaration regarding Alaska is a provocative and dangerous gambit that has the potential to reshape the geopolitical landscape. It is a stark reminder of Russia's imperial ambitions and its willingness to challenge the established world order. The international community must respond to Putin's actions with a united front, reaffirming the sanctity of international agreements and territorial integrity. Diplomacy and dialogue should be pursued to defuse tensions and prevent further escalation. As we navigate these uncertain times, it is crucial to stay informed and engaged in global affairs. Subscribe to capture the intelligence and stay tuned for the latest current affairs, expert insights, and death analysis. Together, we can navigate the complexities of the modern world and strive for a more peaceful and just future. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, share, and destroy that subscribe button. Also, stay tuned for the latest current affairs on the Capture the Intelligence channel.